Welcome to Macro Microcosm Reviews. Today we are reviewing Air of Ashes, The Rocks and Fosh Files 01 by Gina S. Bazaar, published by Creativia. I received Air of Ashes in a free digital PR copy, sans cover art, from the author for the purpose of a critical review. Air of Ashes is a lengthy introduction, the sort of novel which constantly wishes to shake your hand and remind you that we met previously at another author's party. It feels like the conundrum of the ubiquitous creative writing professor, how to answer a reader's questions of context while leaving enough mystery to sustain the inevitable sequel. I found a healthy amount of unanswered questions in Air of Ashes, coinciding with my delight at a novel with a strong female protagonist. Roxanne's primary antagonist is the ever-present ticking clock. Constantly on the run from a cabal of scientists set on taking her back to their test facility, the action of Air of Ashes rests most firmly on a consistent chase. The true plot of the novel opens far after the halfway point, and it is up to the reader to decide whether that pacing is copacetic. I remember my university years where my prim and demure creative writing professor sat in her chair with hands folded elegantly on a fashionable lap. The worst sin of any author is the hubris of wasting a reader's time. Be concise, or be silent. The nature of Bazaar's prose is at times in disregard of any rule of concision. While the familiarity of a female first-person narration to a contemporary supernatural novel will be comforting for those readers used to Twilight or The Hunger Games, Air of Ashes lacks finesse. I have yet to decide whether this lack of finesse is the author's intention for Roxanne's personality, but I want to give Air of Ashes the benefit of my doubts. Air of Ashes promises action. It constantly hints to battles at hand. While setting wise, I saw more of the interior of various hotel and motel rooms than any sort of battlefield. What combat there was hit my black-belted eye as potentially stagnant, but serviceable and entertaining. The battlefield morphed into the beleaguered sexual tension of will-they-won't-they Roxanne and her serendipitously equipped protector Logan. Rocketing through the United States from Nevada to California in a series of cars, Air of Ashes reminds me of a whiff of the novelizations of great chase films from the 1970s, or a stutter of dry featuring Ryan Gosling as a guttural and powerfully cathartic getaway driver. I wish Logan had a bit more of Ryan Gosling's performance in his prose, but wishes are not 400 horsepower. Yet the scope of Roxanne's first-person narration meant I lost a good deal of the emotional integrity of the novel from other point of views. The pace of discovery was as clunky as starting up my beloved 17-year-old Mazda. I know the engine will turn over and that it will get me where I need to go, but it takes a breath longer to rise to the occasion than I usually prefer. Reading on, the pace would rush to a hazarded point, which thrilled and tantalized my reader's eye, then halt for the next hotel room, the next awkward bed share of the not couple Roxanne and Logan, that drifting eye of the unsolicited other tangential player whom I assume will have their day in the next few books. Gina S. Bazaar appears to be navigating the confusion first-person narration author's experience of grounding the novel when the colloquial English of an uneducated twenty-something girl is all they have to form the piece. While as a reviewer and lover of the English language, I am unconvinced by the flow of Gina's prose, as a reader of the supernatural romance or feminine supernatural genre, I understand from whence Bazaar comes. The awkward nature of Roxanne's monologuing is fairly standard for this genre, and if you enjoy stories like Twilight or kick-ass contemporary female supernatural novels, this will fall in the middle of the rack. Bazaar's created version of reality is one of werewolves, vampires, and select other mystical presences seemingly chosen at random. The nature of their supernatural behaviors is vastly left unanswered. I asked myself what type of werewolf, what kind of vampire, what are the rules, more times than I wanted to admit. I wanted yet again to have a definition of terms. When alternative supernatural beings showed up later in, 
I both exalted Bazaar's creativity and balked at the assumption that giving up the nomenclature would somehow settle the reader's quest for Bazaar's interpretation. By the end of the book, the explanations seemed offhand, as if really we the readers should have known far before we did. Air of Ashes is the beginning of a story. My largest concern is the pacing, and my largest praise is an interest in what happens next. There were sections where Bazaar went into these wonderfully created worlds and had conversation with beings that were utterly inhuman. I want more of that. I felt that the novel blossomed at that point and wish it had happened earlier on. If you are looking to read a rainy day novel to entertain you and you like strong women running from deadly usurpers, Air of Ashes, The Roxanne Foch Files No. 1 by Gina S. Bazaar will serve you well enough. I wish Ms. Bazaar well in complete her subsequent novels, and hope eventually Roxana hits her stride. After all, this girl was born to run. This has been Macro Microcosm Reviews Air of Ashes by Gina S. Bazaar, published in the United States of America by Creativia. If you have a book you would like to be reviewed, please visit our website. The link is in the description box. Please follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel for weekly reviews. Thank you for your time, and have a fantastically creative day.